afternoon everybody right then I'm on our faithful 6800 and uh, I've got the Cunero on by so we are applying a uh, white clover and yellow for oil mix to uh, wheat we're just blowing it in and it, I'll show you the soil structure but the soil has um, it's much improved from about a week ago. Let's show you how dry it is for starters. You know, there is no moisture in the top at all. Uh, we had only four millimeters of rain, but it's made the surface quite powdery. So this is on the headland, but we're, now it crumbles away and there's a little bit of moisture. Um, so that's looking quite good. So my hope is that I will be able to dash through this again with the stubble rake and uh, just disturb the surface enough to create a tilt for the clover seed. And then um, we've missed the date for rolling. Uh, we're just at uh, stem elongation, so I think it's a little bit risky to, to go and roll this. So I have a bit of a uh, love-hate relationship with this uh, Cunero. It's, um, it's old, it does exactly what I want, but it, uh, as a result of its age it often breaks down. So um, it's a particular gift this time. Oil was frothing, frothing out of the pillar cap. So the machine works on the basis of a PTO driven hydraulic pump. Either the filter was blocked or there was also a small hole in one of the, um, in the pipe that goes to the pump. So we changed that as well. So whether that contributed to the frothing. So uh, I always budget on at least some breakdown. So uh, hopefully, uh, fingers crossed, that's it so far. So one of our previous modifications is this line of uh, LEDs um, underneath the main screen and what we found in the past was these LEDs show that the clutches are on. There was nothing to um, tell us whether the clutches were actually running and we had a slipping clutch which left to, led to striping. So uh, these ones here are uh, inverted electric motors and by that I mean that the uh, electric motors are powered by the chain drive of the machine and that generates just enough electricity to power the LEDs so that we know, therefore know that the chains are turning. So just to demonstrate here, I've got the master switch off at the moment and all the, although the section buttons are on, the chain isn't turning. So I shall just uh, pull away. Right, and now I switch the master button on and the LEDs have come on as a result. The seat basement's working quite well. They're pretty small but there's one, there's another, um, and there's a couple. So spreading it nicely, the calibrations work quite well. So uh, actually it's gone not too bad. So uh, thank you to the Coon for uh, working well for once. See you next week.